Yo, what up guys, Zen Loco here, and I'm taking over the Zen channel today. I'm going to be showing you guys how to place in cash cups without actually being as insane as clicks or booga. I have multiple top 100 placements in cash cups, so I'm going to be showing you guys how you don't really need to drop that 20 kill win. You don't need to have 60 kills, and you can still place well. So let's get right into it. Okay, so let me elaborate on what I was talking about in the intro. Basically, I feel like a lot of people like rush, right? They see their favorite player, they drop 20 kills their first game, and then that player, let's just use clicks as an example is dropping a 20 kill win and then in the second game he's automatically in the highest elo lobby possible so unless you think you're that good right unless you're as good as that then this might necessarily like not be the play i started this cash cup like 15 minutes late nothing crazy you know like insane late start but i started about 15 minutes late i hopped in and my mindset was to just take it easy i had no rush i didn't i didn't need to be anywhere i didn't need to be in the second place spot like right away i just took it easy so in this game i go for a low kill win because wins people forget come down to tiebreakers at the end when there's 50 people between 150th and 100th with 130 points if you can manage to get two wins you're going to be all the way on the top of that tiebreaker so for me i try to go for as many wins as i can i really don't care about the kills you're going to see here that I actually do take a couple fights here and there, but for the most part, I'm playing for the win. In here, no doubt. Definitely some tier ones that are late starting. Dude, everywhere I go. This kid's a psycho, man. Popping white heels, bro. Damn. Guys, I haven't warmed up or anything yet, so. Yes, sir. Come on, dog. Okay, as you see there, I actually took a fight that I didn't really want to take, but there was just an opponent on me. And all another part of placing well in cash cups, guys, is you do have to win some fights. And as you can see right now on screen, guys, I had a launch pad right next to me in a box. But I knew that since it was like a deadish endgame, I would have got lasered out the sky. Since there was a car right next to me, I literally just hopped in. And my immediate thought is, what can I refarm? I'm trying to save as many mats as possible. So I see this brick right here. I'm in center zone. I think this is fourth zone. So I necessarily um, is almost I'm almost guaranteed to not get zone here. But it doesn't matter. I have a car outside my box and I wound up just refarming these mats. And another thing I want to talk about, guys, is how to get, like, safe kills. As you can see here, it winds up not happening, but I see that there's a player, like, out of position. He's basically in the center of a whole bunch of different players. So right here, I start to spray him, right? Now, another player also joins in on the party. Since I'm the closest one to that loot, if there's a launch pad or something, I could potentially grab it. So I start using my AR ammo to spray this kid. In a higher elo lobby, basically everyone around would start spraying him. But since it's a low elo, it wound up not happening. So we're going to have to let that kill go. Okay, so zone pulls here and half and half is actually pulling not that far away from me. Instead of just running in though, I know that I have a car. And since it's dead end game, I'm pretty sure that I can just hop in the whip and drive to a safe part of zone half and half. And I would be vibing. Notice everything that I've shown you guys so far, I've really used the most minimal amount of mats. I am saving all my mats for end game. So I'm not forced to have to cycle into boxes for refreshes. When I get out of the car, I immediately build in metal because I actually have an opportunity to get lobbied here. But since I'm building in metal, I'm okay. Now, if you guys follow comp, you basically know that you should be using your launch pad on first moving to save the most amount of mats. However, I don't have a launch pad here. But I start looking around and I see a launch pad. And for me, it's worth it. I switch to wood so I don't use my hard mats and I start tarping over to the launch pad. I get sprayed a little bit, but that's okay. I wind up boxing up the launch pad and now I'm chilling and I'm ready for end game. When I hit the pad, I'm always looking for what layer to land on. I look at height and I was thinking about it because height is so good in solos, but I didn't think it was time yet. So I landed underneath height. I wound up tarping out. We get chopped down, but it's all good. We catch ourselves and now we're really ready. One thing for me is I'm not insanely mechanical, guys. I know that, right? I know my strengths and weaknesses. So for first moving, second moving, I just want to stay ahead of zone. It's the least crowded area of the map, obviously, and I'm just staying ahead. So all my kills are easier to find when I could just look backwards. As you see, I'm tarping ahead here.
I'm getting a little bit low on math, so I start to look for a refresh. I see the Shadow Flop kit in my box, and I'm trying to kill him as best as I can, but I'm just struggling. I feel like an important part of Endgame is to know, like, when to cut your losses. Like, I might have spent a little bit too much time trying to kill this guy, but I know I really needed the refresh. I knew he was weak, so I kept trying, but eventually I wound up just going off. See another opponent here. Get a good shot on him. He gets away. It's so it's super hard to kill these kids, man. They're just slippery. I'm waiting to see where zone goes, and zone actually pulls back. So now I actually have a free rotate backwards through my own tarp. I wind up getting the kill on that guy. I guess he just took too many ticks to storm or something. I'm not really sure. But again, since zone's pulling backwards, guys, I'm staying ahead. Like I'm in front of the zone. Everyone behind me. So I only have to really worry about one place. As you see, I'm tarping ahead. I know there's a refresh in front of me, but zone doesn't quite pull there yet. So I'm just waiting for the zone to open up more. I'm looking backwards. I'm looking for refreshes here. I try to edit this kid back into my box. He wound up going up. I'm looking under the water for anyone shambles because this is where the shambles kids will be, guys. Unfortunately, there was no one shambles nearby. So now zone keeps pulling, guys, and I know that no one's low ground, so I can take these mats. I wind up getting psychoed right here. And I got the double kill on the crystal and the aura, which actually gave me an insane amount of mats and a launch pad. Guys, in solos, if you want to win, honestly, height is the move. I look upwards, I see that there's no builds above me, and I immediately launch on height. Now, this is a little bit of a psycho move, but it's worth it, in my opinion. Once I have height established, I know that I'm basically in a position to win the game. I don't want to make any crazy drop-down plays or nothing like that. I wind up getting chopped, but it's fine. The two kids are fighting on low ground. I maintain height. Up my Slurfish, I could be 100-100 because I know I'm about to take my last fight of the match. I wound up trying to get this kill, guys, but it got stolen, which is very unfortunate. I dropped down, though. This kid's weak, and he's running into Storm, and he's dead. And it's just a GG from there. If you guys watch me live on Twitch, man, you guys know that I have to emote, right? There's just nothing I can do. I emote, I dance, I have a good time, man. That's the whole point, dude. You guys got to have fun while doing this. All right, so guys, the whole point of the video is to show you guys that you can play well without being the best. I never claimed to be the best, guys. I've been competing in video games since I was 13. I'm 26 years old now. When I was 13, I was traveling the country playing in Call of Duty tournaments. I've been competing my whole life. It's what I have passion and love to do. Now, I go fast forward a couple years into Fortnite, guys. I know I'm not the most mechanical. I know I'm not the most cracked. But I can still place and, de and do well in tournaments. I have like 12,000 PR on East, which isn't nothing crazy, but it's pretty good. You know what I mean? Basically, guys, I'm about to start posting this kind of content on my own YouTube channel. I have highlights on my YouTube channel. If you guys want to go drop a sub on the YouTube channel, that would be cool. I stream every single day on Twitch, guys, almost 900 days in a row without taking a single day off. I stream cash cups. I do basically this video. I do live on stream every single tournament. You guys should go check out my Twitch. Um, you guys don't also know this, guys. I've been on Zen for like 16 months now. I love this team. This team is awesome. I hope to do more videos like this in the future for them. If you guys don't know, I actually run the Fortnite Guy channel right now, and I make videos on there daily. So if you guys are looking for more content from me, you can find me there. You can find me on my YouTube, my Twitch, whatever. That's going to be enough for me, guys. I'm out of here. Thank you so much for watching the video. Do not forget to like the video, comment. Let me know how I did. Was I bad? Was I horrible? Did I help you? Let me know. And that's basically it, guys. I really, really appreciate you guys being here. That's it for me. I'm out. Peace.